how does this squad compare to the ones you've had before? Yeah, I think it looks, uh, my first sort of feeling about it is it looks very good, very talented, very competitive. Probably sort of similar sort of standard uh, quality of group. Um, perhaps there's a couple of guys that haven't already been earmarked in the same way that you heard people talk about uh, Paddy Jackson or uh, Connor Gilson or... Um, JJ Hanrahan, that's type of guys, Luke McGrath, but I still think there's very, very uh, good players there and uh, a lot of quality talent, really. So uh, hopefully we can mould them into a, a good team. Yeah, how, how does that work? Because you haven't seen them for too long. You've had a few camps, though. Yeah, uh, basically the way the process works is I watch uh, the under-20 and the provincials. Then I pick a uh, an extended squad, obviously... That's on the back and going through all the DVDs and looking at each individual and making notes on each individual. Then I bring in an extended squad. We have a, a sort of a couple of short trial matches uh, at two different camps, and then I select you know the final sort of squads really to come in and prepare for the Six Nations. So uh, in between that, we we have a, 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 a trial game against Leinster, and this year we played a club team Lansdowne. Uh, who were champions at under 21 level. So uh, that worked out quite well for us. And we get to saw, see uh, quite a few of the extended group. And then this camp, we've, uh, we, we, we've, we've cut it back to 30. And 28 of those have been named in the Six Nations squad. It's hard to know how they'll gel then. And really, that's the key. That's where you come in. Well, that's right. It's hard to know how they gel, even though we know they're good players. Um, you know, some will take to the big lights and uh, big stage immediately live on TV on a Friday night before an international sort of That's weekend. first game up, isn't it? Yeah, against Scotland. Some will just waltz into that, breeze into that and be ready for action and kick on and others might find it a little bit daunting first game. So, you know, that's a, that's the imponderable. Will will, uh, will we gel? Will we, uh, you know, play the way we want to? But, you know, past experience has shown me that these guys normally rise to the occasion and our record at home is, is pretty good. So uh, hopefully we'll have another result. I suppose in the back pocket you have kind of two core groups in the squad. Can you tell me just a little bit about that UCD Lansdowne de- breakdown? Yeah, well, you might talk about that. <laughs> I never look really at what clubs they come from. You know, obviously I'm aware of the provinces they come from. Uh, I never look at that. My main focus, my main task all the time is look, who's the best players? What's the best combinations? What's the best blend? You know, I really value the work the clubs do, uh, the academies, the provinces, to develop the players. Um, but ultimately, my job and my task is to make uh, a team blend and gel and be cohesive. So, uh, you know, I look at the individuals, I look at the combinations, and only afterwards I probably sit down and think, right, OK, well, where are all these guys from, you know? And uh, the main thing is, let's get the best players on the field. Just one question. I we never like to pick anybody out, but just the fact that there is a, a Mike Brewer's son is in, is in there. It, it's an interesting thing. I mean, he's really he's following the footsteps, although... He's 35 caps for New Zealand or whatever it is, and now this guy's coming through here. Yeah, he looks a quality uh, individual, you know, and a quality player. Uh, so I'm being told because I haven't actually seen that much of him. Uh, he was out with uh, hip uh, surgery um, at the end of last season, so he, did, he missed all the under 20 in the provincial series. I brought him into a camp. He played uh, in a trial match for me, but we had to take him off around half time. He broke his thumb, so then he was out for six weeks. Um, so really, we've you know we've picked him on his pedigree rather than his form. Uh, whether he's done enough to 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 make the first game, I don't know. Uh, I'll reflect on that a little bit more after this camp. Uh, but certainly, um, his pedigree's got him in so far rather than his form because of his unfortunate injuries. But he sounds like he's a fantastic young player, and I'm sure he'll he'll kick on now. Hopefully, if he can stay injury free. I hope so. And just finally, you've just a couple of players back from last year, the likes of Peter Dooley. Yeah, yeah, we've got a very strong back row uh, unit with with all the experience of last season. Part of Timmins, Dan Levy was captain, Jack O'Donoghue, Peter Dooley's coming back, Adam Byrne, Alex Wooden. So it's good to have a core of six or seven guys like that that will bring a lot of leadership and experience to to uh, you know to to the fold. So uh, no, it's great to have them. Peter Dooley uh, has been very impressive. A year young, so now he's. Uh, uh, he, he, he's, he's top of the age grade so hopefully uh, he kick on and uh, keep on playing the way he has been because he's been playing very well Great, listen, best luck for the entire Six Nations hope it goes well, goes well for you Thank you very much